Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Noel. If you're new here, please click that red subscribe button down below. And if you're not new here, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of this video, we're doing a story time. Guys, the title is exactly how the story goes. This is the time I threw up on my crush. And if that isn't super embarrassing, then baby, I don't know what is. If there was a scale, I think throwing up on your crush or somebody that you liked would be the highest you could go. Can't get more embarrassing than that. And me, I hate being embarrassed. Like, it's one thing to trip. It's one thing to sneeze and have a booger fly out of your nose. But to throw up on somebody, yeah, that's diff. Let's just get right into the video. So let's start off with the background of this whole story. And this happened a really, really long time ago. So I am too pressed about it. I don't care anymore, but I thought it was such a big deal. I still think it's embarrassing because, ooh, ooh, baby. I, whatever, I still think it's really embarrassing. Way back when, there was this boy. We are gonna call this boy Max. That's not that's not convincing enough. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. Let's call this boy Derek. Me and this boy Derek knew each other through mutual friends, I would say, or just because of the area. We had mutual friends. Let's just put it like that. New York is small. If you know, you know. If you're from New York, you know that if you turn a corner and if you meet a girl from the Bronx, she knows somebody from Queens that you know who babysat your little cousin. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, we knew each other from the world is too small vibe. We had each other on social media since I think I was like maybe 16. And I'm 21 now, just to put it like that. Me and this boy were texting for a very, very long time. I would say well over three years and you know he's from the same place as me and you know i thought that we had like a connection or whatever but this is actually a very funny story oh my god i hate to be this bitch and we would facetime all the time but it was nothing ever serious because we would never meet up in person basically i liked him through a connection Oh my god, girl, shut your ass up. I liked him through the phone. I liked him through a screen. I liked him through FaceTime. I can't speak for him. I don't know if he ever had feelings for me, but he definitely entertained me. He definitely was entertaining it. You know, it was never anything serious. Mind you, we had cut each other off a couple, not me saying we. I cut him off a couple times because I don't got time for no games. I don't got time for no games. I don't play like that. I don't play like that. The last time I had cut him off was because he had a girlfriend. We were texting for three years and he had a girlfriend. And he's one of those people that believes that flirting is not cheating. So when I found that out, I was like, oh, that's crazy. It makes sense. We never linked, so it wasn't really cheating. So I was just like, oh, okay, fair game. Like, once you have a girlfriend, I don't want to be that girl who breaks up your relationship. I felt bad that I was even entertaining him while he had a girlfriend. That's dusty. I think we both just had a little crush on each other. So whatever, fast forward to a couple months of me cutting him off after he has a girlfriend. So I told my cousin, wait, no, no, no. What happened? How did I even find out that? So we're from the same place in DR. If you guys don't know, I'm Dominican and so was he. And we lived in the same little town in DR. I don't even know how I knew that he was going the same time that I was going. I think my cousin had followed him. Something along those lines. But I knew that he was going to be in DR the same time I was going to be in DR. So I told my cousin, listen, whatever the fuck I do... Don't let me talk to this man. Don't let me near him. He has a girlfriend. He did me dirty. He was talking to me. He was entertaining me. But he had a girlfriend. I don't want no parts. So I told her that. I was like, girl, you better keep me in check, okay? Because you know son. He asked my son. I said a sad. We queen impulse, baby. So if we feel like we want to do something, we going to do it, okay? You hear me? I was just like, bitch, keep me in check. 
my right when I'm wrong. Per. Let me not slip. We end up taking a flight and it's me and her. I literally just went with her and her family and he went with I don't give a fuck who he went with. He ended up going. It was just so annoying because as soon as I landed, he had my cousin on Instagram and I guess that's how he knew that we were both going. So the first day we land, me and Daniela, if you don't know who that is, that is my cousin, we get into the place that we're staying at and that was her grandma's house i get a call and i'm like oh my god this boy derek is calling me so i was just like i'm not picking up because i'm not entertaining that and that's on purr so he texts me he's like that's crazy you're not gonna pick up and i was like ew disgusting okay obviously i ended up texting back 18 year old noel she didn't know better i'm not mad at her we spend the rest of the trip just texting mind you we have never linked ever before and then when we got there Derek was being so weird to the point where I was just questioning what are you doing he was just being a person through the phone and I was just like you're being weird now we could bring this to real life and you're choosing not to now you're being like a social media type person like a screen and not a human you ever met somebody who could text but mad weird in person I don't like that so keep that shit away from me we went to it's like a little carnival that they have in the town in DR why I had seen him and he saw me and y'all we walked right past each other I'm not gonna say hi first duh i would never be in your face he was just being mad pussy and he would do stuff like every now and then like oh i'm at mcdonald's do you want me to bring you some so he'll bring me food small things like that and there's these little clubs in the yard and this is where our story really takes place you literally only have to be a certain age to get in any age you could probably be three and get your ass in there and get a little coronita this is the spot where they host parties the typical parties bachata parties hella lit hella fun we were planning on going Going to every party that they had and he was always there one time we went to go and get the tickets for the party he was there and he didn't say nothing to me and i was just like this boy is weird and it's not even that he was just there like he pretended like he didn't see me and at that point i'm just like you're weird you're sherm so fast forward to that day one of our last nights in dr but i remember i looked so cute i had a white top with some red flare bottoms and i had some red bottoms on and i had red lipstick and my hair was fully it looked so good like the outfit was good i was looking Bye. so we go when we get there i already knew he was gonna be there because like i said we were texting or whatever i wasn't like completely like okay this boy's a waste of time which i should have been because then i exploded literally so we get to this party i'm sitting around here and he's maybe right around here by the music first thing there's a guy who's outside and he like sells roses i was just like whoa why did you do that he like bought me a rose his cousin who was being messenger so corny i'm not three years old that's like yo my man say you cute tell your man to come over here and tell me that he think that i'm cute i don't do no whack shit like that like i don't play no messenger i don't give a fuck how old we are so his cousin comes over he's like derek wants me to give this to you and i'm like oh my god really like thanks then fast forward the party's still early after a while his cousin comes back and he's like derek wants to give this to you it was big styrofoam cup of liquor and apple juice i was like mm, it tastes pretty good so thanks like he literally got a bottle at his table and he gave me like a cup full of liquor so i was just like oh let free drinks ah mind you if you know me you know i don't drink because i can't i can't handle my liquor and these bitches they can't control me that's me because i cannot control my liquor and my stomach cannot physically control itself like i have the weakest stomach in the world y'all anxiety makes my stomach turn liquor makes my stomach turn hot gooey things i'm just saying that's that i can't fucking drink and this is when i was younger so i'm still trying to experiment still try to drink even though i know that i can't let's do it right we in the are vacationing okay 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 then me and my cousins are like i am a drink his cousin comes over again the messenger and he's like derek wants you to go sit with him mind you derek is with his other cousins and i'm like should i go come walk me if i'm gonna go please they're like okay fine we'll go so they both go and walk me and then i'm just sitting there being mad fake like it was so weird because he was mad shy and he was barely even talking to me then his cousin was like oh we should take some pictures of you guys and then i was like okay like 
I was trying not to be awkward so that he wouldn't be awkward because I understand like shy people like I'm a shy girl If you're shy, I'm gonna be the type to be like, oh, I don't want you to be shy because I know what it's like to be shy I already told you I hate the whole embarrassment thing. I don't jack that. I already knew that he was a shy person So I was just like don't be shy. I'm fun. I'm a sad bitch and he was an Aries y'all the most arrogant thing that walks and they cheaters <laughs> we were vibing for quite a minute i'm just drinking and then this is where the story happens and he had a girl cousin that was there thank god his mom wasn't there she was supposed to go we're all drinking or having a fun time guys there was a hookah in the middle of the table that they were passing around and i did a couple of pulls you know hookah they pat me the hookah they pat me the hookah I'm getting embarrassed. Secondhand, I bet. This is not a joke, y'all. I'm really getting fucking goosebumps. So they passed me the hookah. As soon as I take a pull, I knew it was over. I said, Noel, you're gonna throw up. You're gonna throw up right now. Right, right now. Yep, it's gonna happen. First, I got lightheaded. And I was like, oh, that's a fanto blunt. Then my mouth started watering. I said, yeah. It's over. You already know when your mouth water. No, no, no. Let's let's rewind a little. First, I got lightheaded. That's a fanto blunt. Then I got nauseous, <laughs> baby. Once you get nauseous, you need to walk out. And I didn't know that. I was still young, experimenting. Like I said, third, my mouth started watering. These are the three steps to knowing that you're gonna throw up and or black out and or die. Once that happens, GG, babe. Have a nice night the next day. All right, because you're not having a nice night that day. I put the hookah down, and as soon as I put the hookah down, I fucking throw up. I fucking throw up. I literally throw up. It was his cousin, me, him, and I throw up. The tables were in the middle. The drinks were there. The hookah, everything. Do we? How mad I was like this anticipated ass day this we've been speaking for three years and I'm finally gonna see you this is the first time that we're hanging out and I throw up I can't hang y'all I can't hang like not even trying to impress him but like but I'm the life for the party like are you dumb but I realized that I'm the life for the party with no alcohol in my system because I can't do it i cannot i cannot Ugh. and it still to this day bothers me i can't casually drink y'all it kind of hurts my soul drinks look good have you seen a fucking lychee martini does that not look good does it not look satisfying when you have a clear drink with an olive in the middle i hate alcohol like i hate it i can't stand it i want to throw up every single time so whatever i threw up at this point i'm like a little drunk I I remember, but I don't fully remember, so that's why I think that I was like a little drunk, but I remember. As soon as I throw up, he notices first. And I was just like, oh my god, lord, why is this happening to me? Ew. Ew. If I was him, I would have been like, bitch, get your ass up out of here. I literally threw up on his leg, y'all. I know y'all have a conscience when y'all drunk and I had it that day and I was like that's embarrassing the first thing that I seen him do was grab a napkin I'm not gonna lie that was sweet because like I said I would have been like I swear to god nobody's throwing up on me I mainly threw up on myself obviously because I'm sitting like this he was sitting next to me and I tried to just like throw up in between but didn't really happen that way uh with the two coordinated with it I ended up throwing up a little to the side right here and it got on his sneakers on his clothing so like I said first thing he does is grab napkins and he starts wiping it off of me and his girl cousin who was so sweet she grabbed me and she takes me to the back she's like oh my god are you okay like do you feel okay and I'm like yeah I'm so embarrassed like I can't believe this happened to me she literally takes like a wet towel and starts wiping me and I'm like yo I'm so embarrassed she's like don't be it happens to everyone and I'm like no it don't happen to everybody because I know people that could drink and do hookah and be normal i don't even know what happened i think the party ended up being over or they took me outside to get some fresh air i think they
took me outside to get some fresh air he ended up coming outside and he's like are you okay and i was just like i'm so embarrassed that's what i really kept saying i'm like i'm so embarrassed i'm so embarrassed this is embarrassing like i just threw up on you like that's embarrassing like let's talk about it that's really embarrassing and he was just like don't be embarrassed like that's nothing to be embarrassed about it happens to everybody everybody throws up everybody gets lit all his cousins were saying that while i was throwing up he texted my cousin he was like your cousin vomited and i'm like not vomited you're gonna say threw up vomited what well, i literally had throw up all over my pants that night i don't think i was drunk like i think i was just like tummy turned but i might have been drunk who knows moral of the story be yourself don't try to impress nobody for nothing you know what i'm saying don't anticipate nothing because if it wanted to would have should have could have happened it could have happened i don't know why i anticipated linking with this boy i don't blame myself for drinking because back then i really didn't know that my stomach couldn't handle my liquor if i drink now i'm just asking for it i throw up every time i drink but I do blame myself for the hookah. Girl, you know that hookah fuck up your stomach. If you could do both, baby, I wish I had you. And it's not fair, but whatever. I'm pretty sure he told all his friends, yo. Mm. He didn't say anything at all. He never really brought it up ever again. And also, that night, I didn't stop throwing up. But that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, do not leave without subscribing. You will be back soon. You love it here. Don't forget to follow me on my socials at Chanel Don Noel and on Twitter at Real Chanel Noel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Wait, click that bell button so you guys get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you, babes. Love you.